COVID-19 cases continue to rise across our state. The hardest hit Hall County. It's home of the city of Grand Island. That's where 3 News Now investigative reporter Jeff Van Sant went to see how people are dealing with the pandemic. Grand Island, a city in the crosshairs of COVID-19. It's usually busy. You can't find parking. Um, lots of people about and now you don't have any problem finding parking. Downtown is quiet, very quiet. It's the largest city in Hall County, a county now with over 930 cases of the virus. It's hard to see your community hurt um, and hurting um, with with numbers that get you national attention for for all the wrong reasons. So can't think it? I think it's terrible that we're having to go through all this. Terry and Alma Rawlings run TA Latino check cashing. The virus is so common, it's hard to avoid those with it. They know at least 20 people who have been infected, including their son and customers. We know for a fact that we had a gal in this morning that has COVID. She came in to the store. That's like, what are you doing here? The largest employer in town, JBS Beef Plant, has over 3,600 workers. More than 230 cases of the virus have been found in this one facility. We have so many workers in critical infrastructure jobs. Roger Steele is mayor of Grand Island. Well, when you put that many people together in different shifts, you are, it's predictable that you could have spread of COVID-19. Sad. It's very sad to see see your community affected this way. Audrey Lutz is executive director of Multicultural Coalition, an organization helping minorities and immigrants through this pandemic. There's been a lot of fear because the numbers are so high and concentrated out there. So I think fear is the right word to use for them. The city isn't on full lockdown. Restaurants are still doing takeout. Social distancing and isolation are encouraged. As this virus continues to ravage through populations, the human and economic toll is still not known. Grand Island, like so many other cities, face a rough road ahead. Jeff Van Sant, 3 News Now.